Good day YouTube! This is Max from MB Development and welcome to my channel. So today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set your IP address to static on your Ubuntu server. It is normally assigned dynamically, be it your live server, be it by your router, be it by DHCP, but what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to set it to a static and the simple reason for doing that is purely that you always have access to it on your local network um, that each time that you start up your server you do not need to go look for the IP address to either access it via the web browser for web development purposes or um, directory purposes so I have just taken my Ubuntu server virtual machine that I have previously set up um, if you guys do want to know how to do that check out my previous vid where I do exactly that first thing that we need to do is just have a quick look at the current config so I'm just going to type if config now in the top left you will notice that it is your network card it used to be referred to as ETH0 in the past but since Google uh, since Ubuntu 14 upwards I believe that this has changed a bit Um, you guys can also check out Google on why that has changed and so forth but the important thing that you do want to have a look at there is the INET address. That is currently stating 10.0.0.161. Now, as I mentioned before, that is the, um, assigned by the DHCP. The reason why mine currently falls in the 10 range is because my VM is set up as bridged. Um, I also explained that in my previous video. So, how to change this? is quite simple first thing that we need to do is go sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash network forward slash interfaces sudo that means execute what I'm going to tell you now as a super user uh, if you're new to Linux get used to it um, you're going to be using sudo always um, pretty much to edit anything you need to use sudo it's just a security measure and it will normally ask for your password as well nano is just the editor that I use that comes with Ubuntu built in um, it's a simple text editor you can use VI as well and there's a few others but I prefer Nano as it just works for me I've used it for a very long time then you're telling it which file to open and that is the forward slash etc forward slash networks forward slash interfaces guys just check your spelling on this uh, the reason why I mention this if you spell it wrong it is still going to open up nano and it's still going to give you a file it's going to be blank as um, in this case there is supposed to be the content in there but it's going to be blank so it will still open it up so it's not going to throw you an error like you would get for example in Windows so let's hit enter and it has opened nano for me now the important lines is right over here and this is what we want to change from here the primary network interface the auto can stay and here you've got iFace with the network interface name I need DHCP all that we wish to do here is change this and we are going to call this static in other words do not use the DHCP but use the static the next line of information that we now need is to tell it but what do you want its IP address to be uh, because I am in the 10 range I am gonna call this get my num lock on 10.0.0.248 I want to set my static IP as to for eight as with any network interface we need the net mask which is a standard 255 255 255 whoops sorry that is incorrect 255 dot 255 dot 
zero. Your net mask, which is standard, your gateway. This will normally be your router's IP address. In other words, the IP address that your router, your router uses. Um, you can check it in your Windows if you are running it in a VM, or you can pretty much check it on any other computer system around you. Um, check out the settings if you really don't know how to do it. Uh, there is, you can check it out on Google. But the gateway is normally the router. I know for a fact that my router's IP address is 10.0.0.2 on my local network and since Ubuntu 14 and up we actually assign the DNS name server right here name servers and I'm just giving it my router IP address. In other words, I'm letting my router take care of the DNS. My VM just needs to connect to that router. For most of the time, for you guys, it will be the same. If it's not, um, you guys can read up on name service and DNS name service and what they're all about. But this is all that we need here. In order for us to save this out, we hold control X. It will ask us save modified buffer. Answering no will destroy changes. You obviously want to save the changes. And where must it write the information to? Where you open it up, hit enter, and you are done. It will take you back to the command prompt. All we wish to do now is say reboot. And let's reboot the machine. In my case, it's going to take probably a minute or two. So I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to stick it out for a bit. And wait for it to boot up. It really doesn't take that long. Um, most likely the time frame for mine being so long is... I am running it in a virtual machine. It has got minimal resources available to it but it is merely for demonstration purposes so and I do run quite a few of these so let's just give it a bit and it's starting up and we've just got all these beautiful okay little thingies telling us that everything is hunky-dory come now and we have got our login screen Type in max, enter, the password, enter, and we're back at the command prompt. And if we type in ifconfig, you will see that the IP address has now changed to 10.0.0.248, making it static. And just as a quick test, I am from my Windows browser going to type in that IP address 10.0.0.248 and due to the fact that I do have Apache installed on this Ubuntu server it will display the Ubuntu Apache 2 page to me so I do know that it is static so I can restart the server or the VM it doesn't really matter, it will always stick to that IP address. Guys, that is it. It's as simple as that. And I thank you for joining me. Till next time.